Okay guys, welcome back to the Supplement Review. Now, this week we're looking at another British brand, and I think this is the first Welsh brand that we've ever had on the channel. So this is O Nutrition's new pre-workout. They are a Swansea-based brand, and this product represents their first offering into the UK supplements market. So what makes O Nutrition's pre-workout different to everything else? Well, this is the first product that I've seen that doesn't have any caffeine anhydrous in it. The caffeine in this product comes exclusively from guarana. Now, there's a gram of guarana in here that yields 22% caffeine, so you've got about 220 milligrams of caffeine in there. You've also got 100 milligrams of teacrine, which is a nice combination, and a lot of other ingredients that we'll go through in a bit. Now, as usual, I've taken this for a week. We've also got a panel of independent testers who are gonna give you their thoughts, and then I'm gonna break the formula down for you and have a bit of a closer look at what's in the product. But let's start with the public testers. What did they have to say about O Nutrition's pre-workout? Very subtle, but very sweet smell. Let's try it. Ooh. It's really sweet and sour at the same time. It's really nice though. First time I've had a pre-workout for a long time, so looking forward to what it'll do. You have to excuse me, it's five o'clock in the morning. I'm about to train in the carriage gym, so it's a bit quiet. Mix as well. Time for the important taste test. Ever, ever so slightly chalky, ever so slightly, but the taste really good. Really nice. Quite sweet, got a sweet hit to it. Yeah, that's good, I like that. I could drink that one. I'll let you know how we get on after I've trained. We are reviewing O Nutrition. This one sent to by the supplement review. That is a little shaker here. Um, I have no idea what bed this is, so I'm for a treat. Okay, so it's dissolved really well. I don't say any fruit, it could be more orange. Like I could drink a whole shaker and not have an issue with it. Tastes good. I'm now going to hit a back day and I'll let you know how it performs. So Tariq's been kind enough to turn up the O Nutrition uh, pre-workout to try. Doesn't mix too well, a bit chalky, but tastes all right. So we see how we get on. Okay, here we go. O Nutrition's pre-workout, thanks for to the supplement review. So. As you can see there, there's no bits. It's mixed quite well. It smells, it smells quite, quite fruity, quite nice. Let's have a little taste. Yeah, it's quite nice. Quite uh, a nice little sharp taste, not chemically at all. Yeah, I like that. Okay, let's um, let's see what it does. Let's go and train. Took it, did thoroughly enjoy it to be fair, it was a good pre-workout. It's been a while since I had last had one. Not super strong, like some th some things that are on the market. It's nothing that will blow your head off, but it's definitely something that will drive you free workout. Can't bolt it. It's a good pre-workout. Would I buy it? Not particularly. I do like something that will blow my head off. Really get me moving some tin. But my preference. So just finished with the own nutrition, just about an hour, five for five. Um, decent focus, decent energy. Um, yeah, all in all, it was a nice all round pre workout, I think. Um, I said before, I'm not a panel expert, but uh, that was good. So I'd say overall, for uh, in total, eight out of ten for the own nutrition. Um, decent workout. No complaints. Um, in terms of performance, it's one of the things that I didn't notice. But I've then just gone and biffed out um, 200 kilos deadlift for eight reps, which is like same PB level for me, so I had a really decent session. But I didn't actually notice that I'd even taken the pre-workout. So I don't know if that's a case of it works really well, but you just can't tell that you're, you've had it, or if it's doing nothing, it's just perceived effect. But I'll give it some credit, like it must have done something for me to be able to lift the weights I normally do. Um, I felt pretty alert and pretty buzzed for the session, so yeah. A bit stumped with this one. It says a rating out of 10. Probably give it a seven and a half. Like, I can't fault it. Like I took it, I then had a decent session, but I was just kind of finished it going. How I think back, I was like, did I even take pre workout? Like I had to think about if I even had it. If that's your thing, I'd highly recommend it. If you just want to have a pre workout, so you feel like you don't even have, you haven't even had pre workout, great. But for me, like I want to have like an initial like bish bash bosh, get in the mood. But this stuff, it's just kind of I don't know. Maybe it works in the background, and I haven't noticed it. But yeah, for me personally, like seven and a half out of ten does what it says on the tin, but I want something a bit more intense. So having tried the O Nutrition Pre now, yeah, it was alright. Good energy, nothing notable kind of focus wise, pump was 
that was alright, but it's not one I'd probably buy myself. Would I recommend it to other people? If they were wanting to come with a much lower stim, one you could use every day, then yeah, but it wouldn't probably be one I'd look by myself, but thanks for sending out through. Honestly, not for me. It's the first time I think I've really used a pre-workout that I felt nothing on. Absolutely nothing. I just don't think it agreed with me or my style of training. I mean, it tasted really nice. got the flavour spot on. It just didn't work for me. So, for me, unfortunately, I'm going to say I wouldn't buy it. So, that's all. Okay, thank you very much, guys. Now, I am slightly surprised by some of the feedback we got from the testers because I actually really enjoyed this. So I got sent two tubs, the Nordic Raspberry and Blueberry flavor and the Sour Pomegranate flavor. Both of them tasted really, really good, actually. I'm quite a big fan of high stim and I lift heavy. That tends to be my main thing. But for me, when I first tried this, I was convinced that there was something that wasn't on the label in here. Having seen the feedback from the public testers, it looks like I was just a super high responder for the particular combination of ingredients that were in here. Now, my experience of using this product was that I found that it was a good pump. I found the focus was okay. Uh, nothing particularly special in that regard, but I enjoyed my sessions when I was training on it. I hit all of the numbers that I was supposed to in my logbook, and I thought it was a good daily use product. In terms of value, the product is $29.99, and that gets you 30 servings. So it works out to be under a pound a serving, so I think that's actually pretty good value. But what's in it? I'm gonna put the panel up on the screen now, and we can take a look through together. The first thing is guarana extract, 22% caffeine at a gram. So that's 220 milligrams of caffeine, which is mid-range for a pre-workout, but it does have other stimulants in there as well. Seven grams of citrulline malate. It doesn't say the ratio there. If you assume it's a two to one, because that's the most common one, you're looking at about four, four and a half grams of citrulline. Now that's not a crazy dose, but it's likely to be effective at that dosage. The next few ingredients are sadly a little bit underdosed in my opinion. You've got 250 milligrams of beetroot extract. I think really that would need to be doubled, if not tripled, in order for it to be particularly effective. Beta alanine, 2.5 grams. Again, you normally expect to see about 3.2. But with beta alanine, it is a saturation product. So if you're already reached beta alanine saturation, then 2.5 grams is likely to be enough to sort of keep you there. Tiaquine at 100 milligrams is an okay dose. It's not crazy high, it's not crazy low. Combined with the 220 milligrams of caffeine, it's an interesting combination. Tiaquine is much longer lasting than caffeine, and it also doesn't give you the jitters. So I found this product to be quite smooth. Now, if you're somebody that doesn't tolerate particularly high levels of caffeine, well, this may be an interesting uh, option for you to try. The next ingredient is nitrosine. So nitrosine is the patented version of bonded arginine silicate, which is a long lasting nitric oxide booster. So it should help you with blood flow, which is generally regarded as being quite good for pumps and also for performance. Whilst it's a good ingredient choice, the dosage that they've gone with at 500 milligrams is definitely on the low side. The literature tends to recommend about 1.5 grams per day. So unless you're supplementing with nitrocyte outside of your pre-workout, which most people aren't, it's gonna be a little bit lower than you really wanna see. A gram of taurine is a nice dose. Again, it's an osmolite, so that will help with the pumps. So combined with that, the nitrocyte and the citrulline malate does give you a nice pump. The last ingredient, uh, again, L-arginine, I'm not a massive fan of L-arginine. The most up-to-date literature now seems to suggest that it can have a negative effect on endurance, and I think and I think a lot of the more cutting-edge brands tend to remove it from their formulas as a result. So overall, it's an interesting formula. There's some really nice ingredient choices in there. There's a few things that are underdosed, but the effect of putting them all together is to produce a pre-workout that I actually think works pretty well as a mid to high stim daily driver. For the last few weeks, I've started to see this brand getting picked up by more and more wholesalers and retailers. It's good to see them expanding. I think they have a little bit of work to do on this product, but with a few tweaks, I think it could be really good. It's definitely one that I would probably recommend if you're looking for something a little bit different, or you want to try something that doesn't have its caffeine base as caffeine anhydrous. It's an interesting USP that the brand has. I'm hoping to see big things from them in the future. They seem to be really passionate about what they're doing. In terms of the overall leaderboard, I would probably put it about here. It's not a bad product. As I said, I actually really liked it, but I think there are some improvements that could be made. So I think it goes about there. Strength board, I'm gonna put it here. I think it's strong. Bear in mind some of the comments that you heard from some of the testers. It may depend on your individual reaction to the ingredients that are in there. But in my mind, I would be happy to take that for a big session. Maybe not a crazy PB leg session, but certainly I did some pretty heavy sessions with this. Got through them and enjoyed the training on them. So I just wanna say a big thanks to O Nutrition for sending these through. I really enjoyed testing them and I'll see the rest of you in the next video. Hero, feeling myself, can't murder my ego. She heard of my deep stroke. She said, babe, does it hurt when I deep throw? Certified freak hoe, hang around does and she learning my lingo. Back then, wasn't worried about me though. In the gym trying to work on my free throw Goddamn